This is how you can use your astrology chart to know how you're meant to make money. Okay, here's a mini lesson in astrology. This is the exact method that I teach my Astro HD students to be able to read anything about your chart or anyone else's. Let's go! Okay, so first of all, astrology is not overwhelming if you know the basics. Once you know the foundation of the signs, the houses, and the planets, you can interpret anything about your chart or anyone else's super easily. And I'm going to show you how. So in astrology, the second house, by the way, everyone has all 12 houses. Your chart should look like this with planets in the houses. It won't be empty like this. The second house is how you make money. It's your material possessions, how you cultivate resources and self-sufficiency for yourself, how you create money. So if you know the meaning of all 12 signs at a really foundational level, you can interpret this for yourself or anyone else. So with the lens of how you make money, starting with Aries, the first zodiac sign, taking inspired action, being spontaneous, being brave, expressing your courage, it's going to require action, inspired action for you to make money might also require some type of leadership. Taurus. Taurus we know is all about sensuality. It's ruled by Venus. Taurus loves nice things and luxury and things that are pleasurable to the senses. Good smells, good sights, good tastes, good sounds, physical touch. This person will probably make money through physical labor or doing something that has to do with the senses or pleasure or luxury. Gemini. Gemini is ruled by Mercury, which is the planet of communication and the mental faculties. Your second house is ruled by Gemini. You'll make money through your communication skills, writing, speaking, bringing an air of comedy and curiosity to what you're doing, or helping people to shift their beliefs, their communication styles, their thought patterns. Cancer. The sign of Cancer is all about feeling, and more specifically, intuitive feeling, intuitive faculties, using your intuition to nurture, support, care for people. Creating spaces where people feel safe and feel seen to connect with their divine feminine and their feelings. Or helping people with intuition and spirituality. Leo is the sign of unconditional love and playfulness and having fun. As well as creativity and passion. So if Leo rules your second house, you need to be doing something that's creative, that you're passionate about, that you really just love to do. And that puts you in the spotlight because the intention is meant to be on you when it comes to how you're going to make money, sharing your unique gifts. Virgo really in the second house. You're here to be of service. You're here to help people heal through whatever brings you joy to serve to people, to help people with, to give to others. Could be things having to do with wellness, with health, belief systems, sensuality, whatever came to you first when I said, what do you love to share and be of service with and help others with? That's it. I'm gonna have to do a part two, so follow me if you want to see it.